so once again best wishes and congratulations to the uh, student leadership of st francis school for 2020-21 what comes to me in this uh, morning as we had just finished the i mean the ongoing investiture ceremony you know the introductory part mam bhavana has correctly said what does investiture mean uh, the significance and what is expected of us in new leadership team all those things are very uh, rightly explained and all of you took the oath and uh, with your presence of your uh, teachers the academic coordinators and your parents to congratulate especially on this occasion to making to happen what is impossible possible as i was reflecting with you and especially this morning uh, of uh, investiture ceremony it was an impossible dream for us in the beginning of this academic year but the greater collaboration initiative of the principal our event coordinator and the technical team and what has been thought of an impossible thing made it possible and i think that is the first lesson the new leadership team of the school should imbibe and take with you today onwards that there is nothing impossible provided we have a will there is an old saying and all of you know it very well if there is a will there is a way and that will will is not merely when we say something in the lecture will is part of the heart do you heart usually symbolizes love do you love it do you love to be part of the student leadership of the school and that's why you you said it yes to it therefore your teachers and classmates together elected you that's why you love to be there and this love is not just for a position or any other benefits this along this love is comes with something of responsibility and first of all the for the student leadership of the class 11 especially i would say that you love to be here in san francisco otherwise you would have left even after class 10 from here and i thank you for continuing to love san francisco and trying to render its your own gifts talents knowledge wisdom and whatever god has given to you to the school and to your colleagues and your classmates in whatever way possible and that's why you have said yes to it and you have officially publicly you have said this morning the presence of your family principal other teachers everybody thank you for loving it and thank you for taking up this responsibility and this responsibility is emerges or comes out of your love and therefore you love it that's the first thing whatever you do you need to really love it the second point at this moment i want you to really look for us leaders is hope when usually when we have every day in the school when you come to school of course these days during before your school classes starts online we pray the prayer of the st francis of assisi lord make me an instrument of peace where there is hatred let me so love where there is injury pardon where there is darkness light where there is sadness joy where there is doubt faith and where there is despair hope and you are the hope givers of the school to your classmates 
to rest of us who are in this school, to your family too. Where there is despair, hope. You know, at this moment of our life, there is some sort of despair in all of us because of the current health situation. And as leaders, how do we give hope? And this investiture ceremony itself is one of the ways of giving hope that nothing can stop us when there is a will, when we love it something. We should, you should be always the persons of hope. Whatever happens around us, that should not stop us from going ahead, doing what you believe that is what God wants you to do. And that is what your parents want you to do. That's what your teachers want you to do. Therefore, you continue to do what is good for the others. And that is a that is a responsibility of a leader. And always you see, even in the situation of despair, sometimes we feel we fail to give hope as leaders, as persons. But I was so glad when I interacted with uh, you know, the candidates who were contesting for the captaincy of different houses. My questions were always on the mandras. And it was so heartening for me to hear both the head boy and the girl head in their brief message really you know, held on to those seven mandras. Then I asked you, most of you, among these seven mandras, which one do you really hold it when you said, be grateful? I think that is very important. Be grateful. Grateful for everything, including your own life. That time, most of you also said, in which one, which one among these seven mandras are you really able to hold on to at this moment of little despair of COVID-19? And you said, most of you said, be positive. I think as leaders, the student cabinet of St. Francis student should have that positive outlook in any situation of your life, especially as leaders. Remember always, if you can stay positive in a negative situation, you, you win. Perhaps you may have heard of the German psychologist, ocean psychologist in a way, the survivor of the uh, concentra Nazi concentration camp, who has been put in the concentration camp, both in Auschwitz and Dachau in Munich. He survived that and came back. And what made him to survive was those who have way to live can bear with almost any how. You know, the German student Sandro was be able to say in German those things. What I then we should have a reason to live, same way you have a reason to take up this student leadership uh, uh, responsibility. Therefore, you have also reason to move forward. Thus, you give a hope. And in your oath, two words were really uh, emerging for me. I was paying attention to it too. First, you will be responsible for your own behavior. And thus, you become a role model. Actually, as a student leader or any leader, the primary responsibility is to become a role model. We can speak so much, we can do much, but what others will observe us and follow us and listen to our words is only when we begin to practice what we talk and thus we become the role models. I think what you, Kevin, Shreya, Abhishek, Emily, Sridhar, Asma, Prachi, Advik, Tisa, Tisya, Ishan, Vayam, Alina, Sanchivini, Kamya, and all of the prefects. You need to be the role models. And I am sure you are role models. That's why your colleagues, your classmates, your teachers have elected to you to this office as a student leadership of team of St. Francis of Assisi. My best wishes 
and congratulations and God's and God's blessings each of you on this occasion. And a special word of thanks to the parents for giving us these wonderful children to be the part of this Franciscan family. Also, a special word of thanks to Mr. Ronnie Thomas, our principal, along with Manisha, our event coordinator, technological and organizer, our academic coordinators, other, our staff secretaries, class teachers, uh, and other head, head of the subjects, all of you. I know it was an impossible, but you made it possible. Thank you for making it possible and making our students' dream come true through this investiture ceremony. And this investiture ceremony we will always remain in the annals of our school because this is something different from the rest of the ceremonies. We do it in person in our school ground, in the presence of all our members together. Thank you so much. Thank you and God bless you. We are extremely glad to have one of our parents, Mrs. Dinkar, with us today. I request you, ma'am, to say a few words and share your insights. Thank you, ma'am. Respected brother, principal sir, reverend sisters, teachers, parents, and my dear children, a very good morning to all of you. I would like to start by thanking the school management for giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak a few words in front of you. At this moment, on behalf of all the parents, I would like to express our gratitude towards the school management and the teachers for conducting this ceremony virtually during these difficult times we are passing through due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Happy congratulations to the newly elected cabinet members for their investiture, which is a major milestone both in your learning journey in St. Francis School as well as in your personal development as future leaders of India. I humbly offer you three key insights represented by the acronym PAR. First, our fortitude, even in the face of adversity, it refers to the mental and emotional strength that allows one to face difficult times with courage. As Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Second, be ardent or passionate about the things you do. And third, be relentless in your pursuit of excellence. Don't give up at the earliest instant or convenience. Draw strength from your school motto, form, inform, and then transform, be the best. Once again, I would like to thank the school for inviting and giving me this great opportunity. It's a proud moment for all the parents to witness their children being invested with such great responsibilities while embar embarking on this journey as the future leaders. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your words of insight and encouragement that you have given to our newly cabinet members. Thank you so much once again. As rightly said by someone, true leaders always practice the three R's, respect for self, respect for others, and responsibilities of all their actions. Today, standing in front of you all as the head girl of my school, I feel proud and responsible. First of all, I would like to thank the school management and all my teachers for giving me this opportunity to serve my school. I promise you that I would work hard to become an effective leader you would be proud of. I will assist teachers and students in all possible ways to the best of my abilities. Also, even during this crucial time of COVID-19, I ensure you that I would take up my responsibilities seriously and work always with a smile on my face. I believe that the duty of a head girl is not just about a badge, but it's an opportunity to display my pride in my school for my teachers and fellow students. Also, I strongly believe that the seven mantras and motto of our school helps each and every student to build their character and personality. Our mantras that teach us to be proactive, grateful, and always stay positive will help us to create a strong bond 
made of respect, care, and concern for each other. And following these mantras, we, that is, you and me together, can work hard to achieve great heights and bring glory to our school. At last, I promise you to strive hard to work for the betterment of our school. Thank you. A warm greeting, oh, respected hey. brother director, sir principal, headmistress, worthy teachers, my cabinet members and parents. I feel short of words to express my emotions, my gratitude for the opportunity I have received to be the head boy of St. Francis School. I feel very proud and privileged to have been elected. It is indeed a great achievement for me and I acknowledge the responsibility you all have shouldered upon me. I extend my sincere thanks to Brother Director, Sir Principal and teachers to whom I'm grateful for inculcating such capabilities in me that I feel confident to discharge my duties and responsibilities as the head boy. Also, I thank all the students who trusted me and have put their faith in me. A leader is the one who knows the way, goes the way and shows the way. I now realize the gravity of this quote. As one of the most important actions a leader can do is to lead by example. If we want everyone else to be passionate, committed, dedicated and motivated, you should be an example, which I'll do to the best to my capability. Coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together and being bonded is success. I stand here to work in collaboration with each one of the Franciscans to achieve the best for our school. A team is like a tool set. Not one tool can do all the jobs, but together it can. So let's join our hands together to work with team spirit in the day-to-day -day functioning of our school. I promise to be passionate and to work hard with all my zeal, devotion, and determination. I will try my best and work persistently for the excellence of our school. Thank you. Thank you, Shreya and Kevin. Moving on to the young leaders of junior school, we have with us the junior head girl, Asma Khan, and the junior head boy, Sridhar Hisaria, to share their thoughts. Leadership is not about being in charge. Leadership is about taking care of those in your charge, wishing and mission. In these testing times that demand tougher efforts, I am certain to fulfill my duties under your guidance and with your support to take my school to the pinnacle of success. Thank you. I, Sridhar Hisardia, head boy of the primary section, wish you all a very good morning and take this opportunity to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the management, election committee, and all the teachers for giving me this opportunity to serve the school and strive for its betterment. I assure you of my best efforts towards the maintenance of discipline in the school and bringing about remarkable improvements in the school environment. I am fully aware that this post demands hard work, tolerance, and sacrifice. And I hereby promise to fulfill my duties with utmost diligence and keeping in mind our most valuable seven mantras, which are our guiding light. Leadership is not a position or title, it is action and example. And with your blessings and cooperation, I aim to set an example for my fellow students. Thank you. Thank you, Sridhar. 